Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to see how many virtual machines we can install inside of one virtual machine. So how this is going to work is we're going to start off with a Windows 10 virtual machine, and then we're going to, inside of that VM, we're going to try to install Windows 8, and then 7, and then Vista, and then XP. And if we get down to XP, we'll see if we can run NT, 2000, ME. I personally don't think we're going to make it past Vista, but we're going to find out. So for this virtual machine, because this is the host VM that's going to be running all of this, we want this to have a ton of specs. Or, yeah, we'll just do four for now, and we'll go eight gigs of RAM. We'll see if that's enough, and right now we just have to install Windows 10. Um, this is 1909, the latest public version that is not an insider build. And we'll, we're going to see how far we can go. Here we are in the Windows 10 setup. This is basically every setup ever. It's We're going to see this a lot all the way down to XP. It's basically the same setup since Vista. So this could be a problem. This is only a 60 gig drive, and VMs probably take way more than that. So after I install this, I'm going to extend the disk to 100 gigs so we have enough space. So here we are in Windows 10. I have installed VMware Tools this is our base. I also did extend the hard drive to 100 gigabytes. Hopefully this will work. So the first thing we need to do is install a virtualization software. Now on this USB, this is a physical USB, I have ISOs from Windows 10 to XP, and then I have my virtualization software. I have Virtual PC 2007, 64, and 32 for when we get down to Vista but VirtualBox and VMware Player should work just fine. This is an older version of VirtualBox to use. I want to see if we can run VMware, but I did read that VMware doesn't like playing well on another VMware machine, so we're going to try to run it. The next operating system we have to install is Windows 8. I don't have 8.1 right now. I just have the regular 8. So right now it seems like it's working well. Maybe it's because I have VMware Fusion and I'm installing VMware Player. It is also raining, pouring down thunderstorm outside right now. So if you can hear thunder, I am extremely sorry about that. And here we are. So we can create a new virtual machine. And we are going to use an ISO. This We are going to use Windows 8. Which is on here. We have Windows 8 64-bit. And... Yeah, I don't think we can skip product key. Actually, yeah, we can. I have a product key to use. It's a generic one that won't activate it, but I will, um, we're going to see. Just for purposes, we're going to just pers we're just going to use easy install. Usually I don't, usually I don't use easy install, but this time I will. So this is going to be an 80 gig drive. What is that? I don't want that. This is going to be an 80 gig drive. And then we're going to give this six. We're going to give this six gigs of RAM. So that leaves Windows 10 with two. Technically. So we've got eight gigs of RAM. And we're just going to try this. And hopefully I don't break anything. This we're going to take a look at the operating systems we have installed. We have Windows 8 64-bit, which is, this is an 8.1, like I said, this is just a regular. Then we're going to go to Windows 7 Pro, Windows Vista Home Premium, and then Windows XP Pro. And if we get to Windows XP, I will be shocked, because I don't, I don't think we're going to get past Vista. If Windows ever decides to create my virtual disk. But, if we can get to XP... And I'm going to see how much time is left on the video. We can either make this a part two. So, it actually did detect that we are on a virtual machine. Running VMware Player in a virtual machine will result in degraded performance. Yes, we would love to continue. The host does not support Intel EPT. Okay. It detects that it was running on a virtual machine, which I kind of expected that because VMware isn't that stupid. If this doesn't work, we can try VirtualBox. Um, I don't think Virtual PC will work on Windows 10. Okay, I believe that this is the, what we need, the VTX. I, I'm reading a form. This is the equivalent to it, apparently. So now we can start the virtual machine, and hopefully 
get where we need to be. Now, I'm worried that the USB might have gotten unplugged virtually, and we are getting somewhere. We have successfully turned on the virtual machine. However, the ISO is missing. So we are going to shut down the guest. We're going to shut down the guest. I'm going to get this USB. We need the VMware tools. That is urgent. I really don't think we're going to get past Vista. This performance is already horrible. And we're, we, there's no way we're going to get past Vista. If we get past 8. This is not going to work at all. Alright, so we're going to edit the machine settings. We are going to put the ISO back onto here if this application responds. I think to install Windows 7, we're going to use VirtualBox. We are booting up Windows 8 on Windows 10, which is running on Mac OS 10.15, I think. Will it boot up is the question, and how usable is this setup? Because I am already lagging horribly right now. And this MacBook, well, it does thermal throttle, so it's probably what we're experiencing. But Windows, it's got a Core i7. It's it's a 2015 MacBook Pro, 15 inch. It does thermal throttle at points, but it's got a Core i7. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got an, it's got a solid state drive. I think it should be fine. I have a feeling that it's going to ask me for. Never mind. It's not going to ask me for the in a product key and we're just gonna install Windows okay so here we are in Windows 8 which is in Windows 10 which is on Mac OS Catalina as you can see this is the full this is Windows 8 I it was supposed to install VMware tools I don't think it did but it was supposed to because it was easy install um, as you can see my mouse cursor is just lagging un controllably I can't do anything about it so I'm not sure how much farther we're gonna get I am not one to put up with laggy behavior but for this video I will try I am not sure how I'm going to actually I can just go into here USB wait no USB SanDisk connect yes okay so now if I can click into the virtual machine and just so you know we're not running Windows 8 off of Windows 10 Windows 10 is not the true host the true host is Catalina which I think is insane now SanDisk should be connected on here if and only if I could click into the machine which I can't click into the machine. So we're going to shut down the guest machine because I believe I do have to enable the virtualization thing for Windows 8. And it's not responding anyway, so we're just going to shut it down. And we're going to see if we can open this thing that we need to open. We're going to... Oh, processors. That That's probably why. So we gave the host four. So we're going to give this one four. We're going to virtualize all of this just to see. I believe the only thing we need is that one, but because we can, we will. See if we can boot this thing up, see what happens. Okay, so I think one of the settings I just turned on caused that. All I really need is the VT whatever. You're not looking at a picture. This is a video. You, like, you can see this is a video. And it's going about an eighth of a frame per second. When I would connect the USB over the virtual machine, it would completely give up. It would not work. It would not... Yeah. So we are going to overwrite the Windows 8 virtual machine with Windows 7 we're going to install Windows 7 and see if we can just get past that issue I think Windows 7 is uses less resources when it's on a Windows Classic mode 
which is we're gonna put it on the Windows Classic mode so it doesn't overload with the Windows Basic or the Windows Aero themes. But we're gonna go ahead and install Windows 7, overwrite the Windows 8 hard drive. Well, Windows 7 has successfully installed and it has successfully overwritten Windows 8 and it is unbearably slow. I believe there's something wrong with the VMware tools that I have in, that I have downloaded on VMware Player only because when it tries to install it says something's missing. So I tried to install VirtualBox and VirtualBox forced a reset on the computer so it restarted and it will not open. I don't think VirtualBox will work. However, on Windows 7, our mouse does not work. I will click on it and it'll dis it disappears. Even though this has four processor cores, it's it's got six gigs of RAM. It's got everything that a normal computer would work on. It is painfully slow. It for some reason all the apps didn't even install. Uh, probably because this is home basic. That's why. Um. I mean, our keyboard works, but our mouse, like you can see it down here, or you used to be able to see it, that's my Mac mouse. So like, we'll, right here, we'll click here, I oh, manage install VMware tools, it says it's already been installed, but it has not. It's pretty much impossible to try to install this, I mean we can, we can go in removable devices, SanDisk, connect, but I mean yeah, you see our cursor up there it locks to a corner and VMware just crashes. So at this point, I think it's safe to say that we're not gonna get this to work. So a little bit of an update, I was going to just end it there. However, for the last few hours after I ended the video, I've been trying to get it to work further. And this is what I've came up with. So we've got Windows 10, this is Windows 10 1909. And then through VMware Player, We've got Windows Vista, which fully works. It's um doesn't have Aero. I'm sure I could get Aero if I really wanted to, but for performance, I don't think we need Aero. And then we have the half working VM. Um, it's currently in a blue screen state. It's Windows ME. Um, it just went through the setup completely. If I reset the VM, it just completely doesn't work. Like, I can go in, boot from hard disk, it boots up, I can try safe mode, and if I can get into safe mode, maybe I can, and we can call this a win, which I don't know if it's possible to. The mouse latency is just so slow. There's a ton of mouse latency on um, Windows me um on vista it's not that bad it's a slower machine but the mouse latency is fine and then of course on windows 10 this is just like running a regular vm besides the performance issues it's pretty okay and here we are we are in windows me in windows vista in windows 10 on catalina that is inc that is insane and they all work fine, besides Windows ME having to be in safe mode and Windows ME taking ages to turn on or get out of help and support. Um, yeah, so what if I did Control alt delete it actually does the Windows 10 VM to the Vista VM, and this VM will kick in shortly. <laughs> so, yeah, that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like seeing stuff like this. Random experiments like this. And I will see you all in the next one.